Good afternoon everyone, I'm back out, uh, back on Anglesey, out today with the Rathman who's just on the top there and I'm out with Tom. Hey. Say hiya Tom. Hello. 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 Right, out today with the CTX and again with the uh, my new coil Tech 10 by 5 coil. Uh, last time I was out with this was exactly a week ago and I found that cut quarter of King John. Um, was the king between 11 99 and 12 16. Uh, I've dug a couple of uh, lead targets since I started about 15 minutes ago and I had a, a target here and I just kept on digging down and down and as you can see the pro pointer is swallowed up in a hole. Uh, you're looking at about 13 14 inches. Anyway I actually thought I was going down to iron you know you just keep on going down and the coins come out of that looks a really big coin that does it looks bigger than a penny uh, so let's see what it is uh, there's, there's going to be writing on this coin uh, oh. if it's a coin it's got oh. two marks it. it might not be a coin so, uh, yeah it's been punctured there uh, I definitely think that's been a coin. It's bigger than our old pennies. It has some strange markings on it. But I will clean that up. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get an idea of it. Oh yeah, I found a pound! Big shout out to Mal Potter. Maybe I'll go to Mackey D's after Mal. Right. Well, maybe not with this pound coin, thinking about it. I'll have to take this one to the bank. Uh, next target to show you. I've dug a lot, a lot of lead today and bits of copper. Stuff I'm not going to film. Uh, is this? Stuff to be made to go into that shape. I wonder if it was like a, a farmer's token or something. I'll clean it off when I get home. Uh, it's lead. There's a bit of a darker patch in the middle as well, so okay. On to the next. Mal Potter, I found another pound. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm back out, uh, back of ancient land, uh, on my own this afternoon. I've only got about an hour and a half, maybe two hours at a push. Uh, I've come to an area uh, that's got a heavy concentration of iron, and I have had some nice finds from here. Uh, the only two silver coins that I've ever come off here are two bullheads, uh, George III, sixpences, uh, 1816, 1817, I can't remember now. Uh, Alfie, my son Alfie had a nice find here with XP Deus, about there. Uh, he found part of a, a medieval sword hanger, and 12 months after, I came back and I found the other half of it, so now it's a complete sword hanger. So uh, that was nice. Uh, out today with the uh, CTX 3030 with the uh, new coil tech 10x5 coil and I've got to tell you I'm lo I'm loving this coil I know I'm going on about it but it's a brilliant coil I'm loving it uh, also I want to give a shout out to uh, Trevor at coil tech in Australia uh, Trevor's one of the managers in coil tech and uh, we've been keeping touch over the last week uh, so shout out to you Trevor at Coil Tech right then uh, I've not got my finds pouch uh, I've not got my brush I've not got my water all I've got is my pro pointer and my metal detector and spade that's all I've got I'm not expecting to find a lot of the target today if I can find one coin I've missed amongst the iron I want to see if this coil tech coil can find something here amongst the iron I have had the CTX 6 inch coil here and that's winkled out a few non ferrous items but I want to see now what this coil tech can do Right, first target was very scratchy because like I said there's a lot of iron here and I've missed this in the past There you go, it's a buckle nothing special but it's a buckle and I've missed it and now I found it uh, this is not the uh, type of hoard I'm looking for uh, there's 26 moo tubes there and I've had that on this field before 
Uh, I found over 20 here before, so there must have been a farmer here, um, a vet here once, and he's just dumped all the cow tubes, so I'm not carrying them. So, uh, tiny signal again, a lot of iron around it, and it's part of a round bullet, whatever you want to call it. It's got like a star on the bottom there. Right, next target was a iron tone, but there was a little bit of a nice tone coming through, but I thought, if in doubt, let's dig it out. And that, doesn't that look like a, a key, the business end? I'm happy to say that's a key. I'd like to know how old this is, if it is a key. But, as my brothers say uh, down south, you should dig a bit of iron now and then. So, yeah, that's certainly right. Um, maybe I'll put this in my tumbler. I'm going to do a tumbling video soon, cleaning coins, so uh, I think this can do with a little tumble. Right, interesting. On to the next. Right, next target was a very jumpy target. It was jumping all over the place. Sorry if you can hear the wind. I don't know if that is something good or if it's just tat. I'm no good with my relics. Does anyone recognise that? Has that end uh, snapped off? I just cannot think what that would have come off. Anyway, it'd be nice to have an ID for that. Right, on to the next. Oh my god, guys! I found another hammered coin! I've not had a hammered coin on my ancient land here for a long time. I'd have to check the video on YouTube to see what date. It's been a very, very long time. And I've said there's still going to be hammered on here. And lots of people have told me, give up the ancient land now, uh, Coinmeister. You've been there for years and years. Move on, give up the ghost. I found a hammered. Just look at this. And this is a rubbish signal. I've, I've got to show you how it was ringing in a minute. Right. That's all the... For five inches down, there's a rock there. It's on, it's on top of the rock here. I had to move these stones out of the way. Um, I thought I lost it then. Let's see if I can ID this now. Let me take off my glove. This is my third hammered in a month. In a I've not got a clue at the moment. It's a shame it's bent over. Just look at that. I think that rock there has stopped it from going down. You know, it just makes you think how many hammers have gone down and we're never going to get them. I can't even make out a head on that. Oh my, oh, that could be another King John, sorry if you can hear the wind, so that would make it, I'm losing my glove there, that would make it a short cross, Oh, I'll clean that out when I get home. It's just a shame that's bent over. It's probably bent against that rock there. 
Well, this is mad, this, because I had my first hammered of the year and my first cut half a month ago. That was King John. I had a cut quarter last weekend, eight days ago. That was King John. Now, this is looking like King John. I think King John is with me. He's cursed me. And, funny enough, my brother down in um, Gloucestershire, He's also uh, been finding um, King John Hammers. A uh, big shout out to Crazy Crazy Seven. My brother. Just look at that. I just can't get over that. Coil Tech, you've done it again for me. You've done it again. Uh, just let me put it there and I'll see if it'll ring the same. Maybe it won't now with the, um, the clog out. Oh, hang on. Just unplug the uh, WM10. Got the WM10 right next to the speaker now on the iPhone. Sorry, I'm the other wind. I shouldn't lose it. Let me be honest, it was sounding a little bit better than that. But you could just hear it breaking through then. And that's the signal that I went for. There's no way. I thought that was going to be a, uh, a hammered coin. Oh, that is amazing. I'm in shock, these hammered coins are coming in like buses for me now. Like buses. Plenty in the tank. Oh my god, I've done it again. This coil, tech coil, is on fire on this CTX. Very, very scratchy uh, signal again. This one about six to seven inches down. It's not a hammer, but that is looking silver. Let's look at that. Oh, that's looking like a bullhead. But is it? It is. Let's look at that. Another bullhead. This is my third bullhead from this area. That is unbelievable. Look at that. 1817. Oh. Double silver. And this is actually a lot more tarnished than the hammered silver. Just look at that. I'm over the moon.